Genesis chapter 2 And it came to pass that somewhere in Havilah was a male human. He was a bit dim-witted, and on account he wasn't certain what his brain was doing, he thought he was talking to a god rather than his own reflecting brain. His god that he suddenly had living in his head said, Look, you can do what you want, just don't eat any of them those there tempting fruits. Why is that? On account, you'll suddenly get into theology and philosophy and try to understand concepts like good and evil, which will be your demise on account it is not so easy to figure out on account it's a point of view thing and mostly just a theory anyway. If you say so, he told himself, his new god, he, Anton, was his name, or Adam? Whatever, we'll call him Adam, to keep it easy, decided he'd go around and put name tags on everything. This was a hard job, so he wondered if he couldn't get some help. One of the things he ate made him really stoned, and he decided to rip out one of his ribs and beat himself on the head with it. What are you, what are you doing? He, his god, asked himself. I don't know. I need something, and I don't know what it is. He threw his one rib in the mud and fell into a deep sleep. When he woke up, there was a woman standing over him. That's a nasty wound you have there. I stopped the bleeding, but you'll have to take it easy for a little while, so it can heal. Hey, you came out of the mud. Bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. I'm going to call you woman, because I planted a rib in the mud. You better have another little nap. From now on, a man will leave his mother and father to find a woman on account they are good. Will you marry me? If it doesn't hurt. What's your name, if you don't want me calling you woman all the time? Eon. Eve, whatever.